Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. This is yes. our second, our second dose of Dismal Disney today. Yeah, I mean, you don't hardly ever have good doses of Disney anymore. No, we don't. Um, so we're going to talk about Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland Paris. They right. were apparently going to build Galaxy's Edge in Paris, mm -hmm. and those plans have seemingly been canceled seemingly been canceled. There's not a lot of mentioning of, of this expansion, and we have to wonder if it's because the reception here in the States was not fantastic, and they're starting to realize that Star Wars is a damaged brand. I think that. I think it's because it's expensive. I think because Rise of the Resistance breaks down all the damn time. It does. It does. So, yeah, they're apparently going to clone a lot of it over in Disneyland Paris. They announced this in, like, 2018. Mm -hmm. They were going to have this expansion. And one of them was going to be, like, a Frozen area. There was going to be a Marvel area. And then there was going to be the Star Wars area. Now, um, that apparently might possibly be changed. Um, yeah, my money is on Zootopia, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 272,000 subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. Um, got to give a, a shout out to WDW News Today, who put this up, and they got the article from uh, some French Disney site. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but that's where they got it from. And uh, we'll go out to the original article, too. But yeah, like you said, originally they were going to do an Avengers campus, mm -hmm. uh, a Frozen land, and a Star Wars land. And Galaxy's Edge is very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a very expensive land that has that's basically just a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's like a Moroccan flea market and a yeah. couple of rides. Only one of the rides there is worth riding. Rise of Resistance, even though you don't agree. Um, the Millennium Falcon the Smugglers Run isn't that you, you get to go in the Falcon. That's the only thing about it that I think is any fun. Otherwise, other rides have done it better. Yeah, I think with the Falcon, uh, what's disappointing about that too is it's not original trilogy. Like if it had been the Falcon with Han, mm -hmm. you know, and you're going through like the asteroid belt or something, that would be pretty cool. But it's not. It's it's uh, you know again the whole. The biggest problem I have with the whole thing is it's set in the sequel era and it's it's really unrecognizable for fans of original trilogy mm -hmm. Star Wars. Right. Yeah. So it just it just hasn't done very well. Even from the beginning, when they opened they, they first they opened the two parks separately and they didn't have the Rise of Resistance done. At least in Disneyland, it was because the track was upside down. Contrary to what other people are saying, suck it, you you're wrong, it was upside down. Um <laughs> Yeah, but it's true. Yeah, it's true. And um it opened two different times, two different places to ride. It opened without all the rides being available, both rides being available, not all the rides, just two. Mm -hmm. um, it didn't It didn't come out as like they that people expected. It didn't have the immersion that they promised. It didn't have the stuff, what, droids and all that crap they promised. It didn't have any of that stuff. That ended up being an upcharge at the hotel and done poorly there, too. People just are over it. And they don't care about the sequel trilogy. They don't care about Galaxy's Edge. They don't care about Star Wars because Star Wars is anymore is just it goes it keeps going down and down and down and down because yep. people are just overwhelmed and tired of it. Yeah, it's it's a lot of subpar shitty Star Wars has devalued the brand, devalued the property. The dumbest thing they did with Galaxy's Edge was base it on the sequel era. Mm -hmm. Um and, but the thing is is that they designed it in such a way that they very easily could walk it back if they wanted but they to. They aren't they're doubling down on it. Yeah, it's like so you get what you freaking deserve. They had like Darth Vader showing up uh, a few months back. People went nuts. They loved it. That's what people wanted. I they, know. They want to go to Galaxy's Edge, see Darth Vader, Han, Luke, Leia, droids, classic stormtroopers. I wanted to go to Hoth, man. That's what yeah. I wanted to do. Anyway, um, so this is coming from the French Disney fan site, Disney File. Okay, the Star Wars area was to be located in the upper left yeah, area of the park. Yeah, you see it. If you look at the picture, see over here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, that's over here. It's the other left. Yeah. yeah the other left. Right here, the Moroccan yes. flea market. Yeah. Okay. Um, President uh, Natasha Rafalski gave an interview on French TV. When asked by the interviewer, uh, the third thematic area mentioned in 2018 was Star Wars, but it's no longer mentioned. Is it still planned? She answered, we're still working on the third theme. So that tells me that they are not planning Star Wars. Um, they said work on the expansion has only begun. World of Frozen is being the focus of the right, present. They just, opened the, they just opened the Avengers area. Yeah, they said the site of Star Wars has remained only a staging area. Um, the original article 
basically says, yeah. No, they um, they said, they. I remember, they announced that they were doing those three areas. Yeah, they said few clues have been revealed so far. Disneyland, oh man, this is... Disneyland Paris obviously wishes to focus all its communication on the opening of the super heroic zone, which would be Marvel. Which they've already opened. Yeah, and Arendelle. Uh, should we wait for D23 Expo at the beginning of September to have an official confirmation of the change of theme? Um, they're talking it could be Pandora. They might actually do Pandora because they have so many more Avatar movies coming out. But Yeah, they could. I don't think the Avatar movies are going to do well. I, I don't think it's Zootopia. I think that's the ship has sailed a long time ago. No one cares about Zootopia anymore. No. The other issue is when you keep basing lands on IP, um, unless it's something like Frozen, I can see, it, 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 it runs the risk of not being relevant in 10 years. The problem the problem Disney has right now is both, you know, the MCU and Star Wars are in decline. And it's, it's, price, it's too much. You know, the smart money on the rides, I mean, one imagineering creating stuff whole cloth is always amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, we still have the Haunted Mansion. We could have had Journey into Imagination, but they they dropped the ball on that one. But we've got, you know, Pirates and and Haunted Mansion, all these things that are timeless classics that Imagineering created whole cloth. A lot of the most popular rides are still rides that have nothing to do with but movies. Disney, especially Chapek, it's all IP. How can we shove IP and do it as cheaply as possible? Yeah, that's the thing. So, I mean, part of it is probably the uh, decline in popularity of, of Star Wars, uh, Rise of the Resistance being a technological nightmare, and... Uh, and then just them wanting to cut back on the budget. They're not mm -hmm. going to want to spend another, it was what, a billion dollars for Galaxy's Edge in the U.S.? They're not going to want to spend that. No. And the thing is, Galaxy's Edge isn't worth it. I, I mean, it was supposed to be, it was supposed to have like another ride. There's supposed to be a dinner yeah. theater. It was supposed to have all this immersion. It was supposed to be considerably better than what it was. It was supposed to be original trilogy. They made a bunch of bad decisions. Everybody called it a flop. It was a flop when it opened. I'm sorry. The fact that both rides weren't there and the only one they went with was a Falcon and it wasn't that good. It was. It did not perform well. Contrary to Iger being like, we'll just throw Star Wars. I mean, that was their attitude right there. We'll slap Star Wars on it and it'll be a hit. That's literally, you know, how he presented it. Yeah, you know what else is, is timeless and, and would make a great addition would be Nintendo. Oh, wait. Yep. They uh they missed the missed the boat on that one. Yeah, that's already going to to Universal. They lost Harry Potter too. Yeah, they lost Harry Potter and they lost Nintendo and God knows what else. They're talking, you know, Lord of the Rings now, um, theme parks and that's all possible. Kinds. Yeah, they, yeah, there's all kinds of things. Like we know for sure that Universal is getting the monsters, the Universal monsters. We know they're getting How to Train Your Dragon, which I think is kind of pointless at this point. We know they're getting. Um, Nintendo. Yeah. And the other stuff is up for, you know, debate about what it is for sure. But another Harry Potter, obviously, will be one of them. And then that last one, it's gone. It's bounced around a bunch of different ideas. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap this up. Um, this is just all speculation and rumor at this point. But I, I would say the smart money is on them, especially by the time they get around to building it. At that point, the Star Wars ship has, has sailed. I really wish I could go to Disneyland Paris because I want to see the, their version of the Phantom Manor. Yeah. But that's about the only reason I want to go there. I mean, a lot of it's clones of what we have over here. If I were going to go to one overseas Disney park, I'd go to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. For sure. Probably. Or Disney Sea. So anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.